Hello. I am doing a video today. I just did a makeup um, kind of tutorial. Not really a tutorial, just sort of a get ready with me type thing. Get ready with me to hang around my house. Look. <laughs> um, but I really like it. I'm digging the purples. You can kind of see the purples in this video. My light went super yellow in the last couple of videos or last video and I'm just so frustrated because I can't figure it out. If you if you guys understand why using a ring light and a window would make it go yellow, please let me know because I would love to be able to do more makeup tutorials, but the main reason I don't is because my lighting always looks so yellow. So just so you know, that's why I don't. Um, but I really like this look. There is no eyeliner in this look. It is all eyeshadow. So if you like it, watch the video. And I also discovered a lot of old makeup, which I shouldn't probably be using on my eyes, but I was really excited to use it because I had rediscovered it. This video is about health and wellness, and in this time that we are living in, it is something that I feel like we all need to pay attention to, to be closely monitoring. Um, your, immune, your immune system needs to be boosted, so go outside when it's sunny. Today it's rainy. Go outside, get lots of sunshine on your skin. Use care, use caution, but make sure you're getting sun, make sure that you're drinking your water, make sure you're taking your vitamins, and let's keep our immune systems nice and boosted. Um, otherwise, please stay home um, if you can. My job has closed, so I have no choice but to stay home, and so we're just going making like weekly runs to the store, that kind of thing. Um, but that is something that I feel very strongly about. In spite of that, back in January, at the beginning of the year, I had decided to make some changes with my, um, my diet and to work out more often, and I stuck with it. And I've always worked out regularly, but I was never working out really more than three days a week. So I decided to boost that to five days a week. I use Pop Sugar Fitness only. I did get a membership to a gym for a short time. It did not last. I do not like gym etiquette. I don't want to have to, I know this sounds gross. I don't want to have to worry about wiping down all the machines because the idea that you have to do that is disgusting. I also, which I know, I know it's etiquette. I do. I also was noticing, I was trying to do weight training and I noticed that when I got in the mirror and was like doing my weight training and trying to count my, rep, my uh, repetitions, that I was blocking other people from looking in the mirror and they were getting ill. Um, I don't know, it just isn't my thing. So I decided to stick more with my, I was still doing my work, my home workouts also, plus the gym, this time I've just decided to do strictly home workouts. And what I've been doing is Pop Sugar Fitness and Sydney Cummings almost exclusively. I adore both of those options on YouTube here. Um, I'm sticking to 30 to 45 minute routines right now for um, cardio, and then I'm also doing strength training twice a week. So I'm doing cardio, strength training, cardio, strength training, cardio. So there is five workouts. If I have to skip a day, I generally don't work out on the weekends, but if I have to skip a day during the week, I will always work out on the weekends. So five days a week has been regular for me for the past basically two and a half months. I'm also switching over to a cleaner diet. I am trying to do the Mediterranean diet and I was doing it pretty exclusively for a while um, with the advent of all of this kind of craziness. It's made it a little more difficult to find some of the ingredients that I was using. So I have been doing just more clean eating. So eating basic things, trying to keep out the refined flours, the refined sugars. I still take sugar in my coffee. I still allow myself a dessert, if not every day, every other day. Um, but I try to stay away from as much refined stuff. Um, and y'all, there's a difference. There's a major difference. I have a picture of me at the beginning of January and a picture of me at the beginning of February and then at March, and you can totally see a difference. Sharing, but I do feel pretty strongly that Keeping up that routine has, it was something that I was already really, really intent on doing. And so now that I'm stuck at home, um, I'm, I'm already kind of in the habit of doing it. So it has made it a lot easier to, to stick with it. So if you can force yourself for two weeks to do a workout routine every single day, five days a week, not, not seven days, but five days a week, if you can get yourself into the habit of doing that for two weeks, I guarantee you, not only will you start seeing a difference in how you feel and how you look, but you will also notice that it becomes 
more natural to do it so that if you don't do it, you really miss it. So try to stay as, as active as possible. Um, we live out in the country, literally out in the middle of nowhere, so we have tons of space. We get to run around, we get to you know, do whatever we want outside. Y'all don't really have that option, a lot of you. Um, some of you are in very, very small, tight spaces or you're right on top of each other because you live in cities, things like that. So just try to stay active the best that you can without jeopardizing your health or anyone else's. Um, we also have the added advantage of farm fresh eggs. We have free range chickens and we they've started laying fairly recently. So we are overflowing in eggs. And eggs was one of the main parts of the Mediterranean diet, which I love. I love eggs. I could eat them with every at every meal. So I was really excited about that too because we have like this abundance of eggs and I can use it in all different ways. Like I made a kind of a low calorie um, egg salad and then I've also like I just had an egg and toast this morning, wheat toast. So I'm trying to stay as regular as possible with trying to maintain the idea of the Mediterranean diet, but also to just incorporate clean eating if I can't access some of the ingredients that I need for Mediterranean. Mediterranean diet focuses mainly on fish and vegetables. Um, it's like if you're looking at a pyramid, the bottom of the pyramid, the most food that you would be eating would be vegetables and legumes and things like that. And then a little bit farther up would be your clean proteins like your fish and your chicken and then a little bit farther up on that would be your whole grains and then at the top would be red meats um, the things you would eat the least of would be red meats fats um, olive oil butter stuff like that is still allowed within the Mediterranean diet but you just use it in moderation there's also so many great recipes on Pinterest for eating clean but also eating the Mediterranean diet and options for, because a lot of people don't really know what to do for breakfast other than eggs. They don't really know what to do for breakfast. So it gives you options to use quinoa, to use other whole grains, to kind of really, really incorporate the Mediterranean diet into every meal. Breakfast is a hard one because a lot of us are used to eating just something easy um, and quick, like some kind of like handheld pro, like quote unquote protein bar. And I realized that the protein bars I was eating was were horrible. Um, they were loaded in protein, but they had tons of sugar and they were not good for me. Um, the carbs were off the charts. So what I did, because I'm not eating low carb by any means, by any re by any means, but I am doing a carb like responsible diet where you actually do think about the carbs you're putting in. So not a lot of refined stuff. So you're not doing an overabundance of carbs. So one thing I discovered which has been a lifesaver for me have been RX bars. Um, I think there are a few different options that are similar to RX bars, but RX bars seem to be the ones with the most uh, attention. Podcasts constantly are um, advertising them, things like that. RX bars are extremely clean ingredients. Uh, they usually consist of literally like a few nuts, a few dates, a couple of egg whites, that's it. They're full of protein, but they are also very, very healthy. Um, they are truly healthy. There is nothing in them really that is bad. Um, the ones from RX are delicious. I love the blueberry one. I love the uh, chocolate peanut butter one. I love the chocolate mint, the chocolate coconut. They are all delicious. And so I absolutely, absolutely sing the praises of RX bars. I eat them almost every day. Uh, when I'm at home, I can obviously cook a breakfast, but when I'm running out and I need something quick that is full of protein and is not gonna give me any issues, it's an RX bar. So I'm a big advocate, love them so much. Um, I also should mention that my job is very, very physically demanding. I use a very, uh, I have to have uh, compression gloves with grip. I have to have steel-toed boots. Um, I throw in mannequins around. I'm climbing ladders. I'm carrying large, heavy signs. I'm carrying large, heavy fixtures. I have never done as much physically on the job as I have done since I started doing visual merchandising um, for a department store. So when that happened, I realized that I had to make some changes in my fitness level and my routine. Otherwise, I wasn't going to be able to stay with the job. It was literally wearing me out. Um, I am so much stronger now than I've ever been in my life. I can do straight-legged push-ups. <laughs> I can um, lift more weight than I've ever lifted. I'm, I've never been super physically strong. I've, I feel like I've had 
you know, strength when it comes to resilience and when it comes to um, endurance, but I have never really had muscles. I actually have muscles now. I'm constantly up and down stairs. I can see a big difference in my butt. <laughs> so the, the, the fact that my job was so physical was what kind of boosted me to make the decisions I did about fitness. I do feel very strongly that fitness at home was just as important as staying with the job. I have never allowed myself to have a super hard day at work and then not work out when I got home because it's a different type of exercise. Um, the type of work I do at home, at work, the type of stuff I do at work is, um, it does burn calories and it does build muscle, but it doesn't really build endurance as much. So what I'm doing at home helps what I'm doing at work go easier, if that makes sense. So anyway, that's all I've been trying to do is trying to eat clean, trying to eat the Mediterranean way if possible, but then in these more trying times, trying to just focus on what clean ingredients I have here at home. My kids, my kids like to eat hot dogs and pepperoni and things that are more salted and cured, and that is my weakness. I love salted and cured meats, so it is very hard for me to stay away from that. However, I have been able to just start to resort to using kitty, get down. So basically that's what I've been doing. Um, and uh, I feel like it's made a huge difference. So I'm just going to encourage most um, all of you to try your very best to stay as healthy as possible. Um, we all are going to need to focus on this right now. And if it's possible for us to try to motivate one another, um, I may start an Instagram fitness page um, just for my workouts and diets, um, diet stuff. I'm not a big like don't ever feel like that I am going to be one of those people that is a super, super stickler. I am not doing keto. I'm not a vegan. Um, so there's going to be a lot more leniency in what I post more than likely. But if I make a dish that I really like, I might share the recipe. Or if I do a workout from Pop Sugar Fitness or Sydney Cummings that I really love, I might go ahead and share that there. So if you're on Instagram, please follow me at Lisa Fremont Street, but then also follow me here and my battery is running out on my camera, so I will let you go. But y'all have a great day. Um, I'm gonna try to post a video for hairstyling tomorrow. I'm trying to do a daily video right now because I'm, I have extra time for once in my life. So I'm gonna try to do that. So hopefully we'll have a good vintage hair tutorial for you. Right now, it's gonna be the hardest thing in the world me doing vintage hair because I have super long stringy hair that needs a haircut desperately. And I'm using, um, and my hair is very limp right now. So I'm gonna see what I can do to try to do some of the things I wanna do as far as the inspiration photos I have. But anyway, that's all and we'll see you, bye.